Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is finally time because I have access to the 1.7 spacebound early access. So this is so cool. Everything's different. We're just going to get straight into this guys because I know there's a lot to go over and review today. So here's the news. If you guys want to pause the screen and read that. But yes, let's get into this. So single player. Oh, this looks new. Sandbox. And here it is, the space sector. Oh, you also get a peaceful sandbox mode and a normal mode, which is with the pirates, I'm assuming, just like airborne. So let's load into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I am in. This is cool. I'm in like a spawn pad or a teleporter. All right. This is cool. Here's a here's a chirpo. Welcome to Galena 9 Space Station Trailmaker. I'm Captain Speck, but you can call me Captain. The Galena 9 is the frontier of Chirpo space exploration. The sector is especially interesting because of the weird gravity. The gravity pulls from the top of the planets, making their surfaces flat. Most peculiar. Hmm. That explains like why the planets are shaped like they are. We're just gonna have a look at these cool details. All these gizmos and screens. Nice. So this is the beginning room, and we're gonna make our way down to this room which is the control room right so you got all the information on the four different planets i'm assuming let's uh see what it's about oh wait we got text it seems a barren but out of scanners indicate there might be something hidden under the surface what so if you just walk up to these screens you get some text whoa all right here we go nasu nasu this planet has been completely infested by space pirates our intelligence tells us they are planning something okay whoa Nice. What about Dune? The bone dry planet of Dune. This planet is home to the most epic snack known to Chirpos. If only we could figure out a way to catch it. Myco Terra. This funky fungus planet of Myco Terra. The planet contains many exotic flavors. It has the potential to bring a whole new dimension. Whoa. Okay. Interesting information. So if you just walk up to Chirpos and screens, they just open dialogue. That's pretty cool. We're getting a lot of Chirpo lore right now. And... One of the things I'm noticing, guys, is my character looks a little different. The hair shade is different. Let's just quickly go into customization. Oh, wow. It's so different. It is so different. Okay. Starfighter outfit? Astronaut? Whoa. This is cool. That's so cool, guys. Okay. What about hats? Can I put a helmet on? I want a space helmet. <laughs> nice. There you go. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Would you look at the reflection? Look at the reflection. That's sweet. Time to explore space. Let's go down the elevator. Oh, it just automatically activates cool we're going down so nice that is so cool that they added something like that in the map that moves welcome to the hangar gateway to space our space engineers have been hard at work creating an amazing quantum rudder oh yeah the new blocks let's just get into the new blocks guys i know you guys are eager to see what we have pull in the build menu new block unlocked quantum rudder new block unlocked gyro instruction do you want to build this no i want to build my own thank you very much all right so if you didn't know already guys there is a dlc which i already have so there's the free content and then there's the dlc stuff but yeah let's just have a look here so we got the new space fighter cockpit wow dude that's such a nice seat that's such a cool seat oh let me just compare that to the cockpit real quick oh and it's six across in length yeah, i can compare that to the the space cockpit the spaceship one the original oh man can you look how good that looks imagine building like a fighter jet like not just spaceships that is a pretty cool canopy for some like modern fighter jets i love that that is amazing right, anything else in seats not really okay let's check out frames got anything new in frames no nope. frames are fine oh here we go propulsion <laughs> all right here they are the space thruster 250 power and 15 kg in weight then you have the rocket engine which is 20 complexity holy smokes that is oh it's huge though how much power does it say 1800 power that is 1000 more than a large jet damn that is that is cool and that's about it for propulsion anything in wheels uh no doesn't seem like there's anything in wheels mechanical yes here we go we got the gyro and the gyro stabilizer these are gonna be so handy to make like basically a lot of things what else do we have aerodynamic pieces nope we're good on those oh weapons oh they've made a new category 
combat related blocks here we go tiny blaster the blaster and the emp launcher wow i'm just gonna put all the weapons out really quick so we can just like get a quick look at what's going on here i got the minigun i wonder if the original weapons still work in space they should do right oh my god so cool look at all these guys all right we'll we'll give everything a test in a second let's just run through the rest of this here we go quantum rudder which you'll, you'll find in the lift and drag that looks awesome turn rate oh there's a bunch of of configuration controls you can change so cool uh balance i think that's pretty much every f no it is not everything energy shield is in the gadgets tab whoa would you look at that so do you need two to make a full sh yeah you do okay and then configuration you can change the length of the shield ah okay so it doesn't automatically fit your spaceship you actually have to change it all right that's that's new this is the camera block they moved the position of it instead of it being in the back you put all the lights in here too all the lights are in the gadgets tab this is the big headlamp let's just see that next to the the original that's cool that's gonna make some, for some awesome builds if that headlight uh concrete dispenser we have those already do we have any new logic no okay all right fair enough and i just want to just quickly yeah here we go i'm just browsing over all of the new accessories so it's just details really but here you go the greebles so all of these are just cosmetic blocks to make your spaceships look amazing this is basically what the dlc is like the paid part of it just these exclusive parts as well as the uh I think the big rocket in the spaceship seat the space cockpit antenna really cool that's actually pretty cool dude that's nice and long this thing and this thing so nice to see all of this in the game now some just great detail you know me guys i love to build for form uh sound makers anything new not really well we have just glossed over all of the new pieces and here is space so what i want to test out really quick if do i if i leave this is it zero gravity it's zero gravity no way and then when i come through back here we're back into gravity nice all right let's not let's not dilly dally i want to build a quick spaceship let's see if we can get used to the new blocks instantly spaceship fighter cockpit of course we'll make like a micro spaceship nothing to smack that in place it has never been easier to build a spaceship or anything like this there's all this technology now these gyros can work on pretty much everything uh i don't need a force field right now i do want to test out the weapons though weapons are what i'm interested in all right you know what let's do some form here look at that sweet already we're nearly finished and it's looking so cool i don't even need any lift pieces do i i can just make a nice cool looking wing <laughs> should i put one of these on we're gonna have to right because we really want to test all these blocks Let's just get that big boy on there. Okay, we need our quantum rudder. Okay, do I just... Do I need... No, we have roll controls, right? So this is pitch. Let's get some standard space thrusters on here too. And you know what? Screw it. Let's get the shield on. I think I have a good place to put the shield. There we go. There and there. All right, you can see the gap. So they need to be one closer, actually. Oh, still? There's still a gap in the shield? Can we fix that? Oh, no, that's just the length oh we can fix that look at that you can really adjust where you want your shield to be if i can make this function first time i am a genius all right there we go that looks pretty good all right let's get that shield properly set let's try minus 30 on that one okay nope too close you know what they can overlap a little bit we don't need to be too much perfect actually that is perfect what do we want the key binds for our shields to be guys i think they should be right on the d-pad i am playing a controller what do i want our rocket booster to be rocket booster can be lt normal rockets on rt rotor controls shields weapons that's what we're missing we're missing weapons this is a very compact spaceship <laughs> i want to put those there and then just let's just add the normal tiny blaster ones without the i don't think these tiny ones have the aim assist there's a shoot like that these are lb nice Okay, here we go. This is our little spaceship, guys. Oh, we can shoot the lasers. This is something I've been trying to see. Can we change the color of the lasers? I don't know, because in the in the footage I was sent to review a couple days ago, the lasers were yellow and then they were red. So I'm just wondering if we can actually change the color. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Wow. I can have blue lasers. All right, let's get into space. Do we have enough speed here? 
All right, here we go. <laughs> so cool. This is just so nice. Oh, it feels very different to flying a plane. We're gaining speed. And we get the rocket thruster boost. That's so amazing. Does that, is that always on? It's not like a burst, right? No, it's always on. Nice. That's even better. Our lasers, our proton EMP torpedoes. They're just EMPs, but you know, they're secretly proton torpedoes. Ooh, I nearly crashed. All right, where to go first, guys? Should we go to this planet here? I think that's Dune. Oh, you can just spawn point around the map. So this is what the map looks like. Dune? No, this, this is Dune. Dune's massive. Dune's the biggest one. All right, we're going to Micro or Myco Terra. We're going to the Mushroom Planet. This is a pretty neat little spaceship I built. If I had like an hour to build a spaceship, it would be amazing. It'd be a cruiser. All right, here we go. We're here on the planet. Slow down. This gyro is really helping. And then the stabilizer gyro. I'm not pressing anything. Stables me out. So cool. Nice to see that in action. Does the space rockets... Does, are they working in this gravity? It feels like they're weaker. All right. Yeah, there is gravity here. There's some kind of weird pyramid. I do know there's like something to do with the pirate planet with the shield gens and everything. So that's cool. Yeah, I really need like a ground vehicle to, to investigate this place properly. Well, we're here just to review things. We're just glimpsing over. Looks really cool. Mushrooms. Personally, I don't actually like mushrooms. If you didn't know that, guys. I actually hate them. But yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. We need to test out the shields. Yeah, there we go. Shields in space. Entering deep space. I love how it says that when you leave a planet. All right, let's get to Dune. Oh, man. Can you imagine the space dogfights we're going to do? Me and the boys are going to get on this. Oh, I see enemies. Those red trails are pirates. Entering SS Bork. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think it's a spaceship. Yeah, I don't have aim assist. At least not with my tiny cannons. Oh, this is so tense. Okay, let me fire my EMPs. Ooh, just missed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, you don't, sir. I'm putting my shields on. All right, I, I think I need to swap out my, my lasers. I need some aim assist here. And the thing is, we can access our build in space. We don't need to be on a planet. We can we can do it in space. All right, just going to stick one on the bottom. That's fine. We're only testing. Okay, they, they do quite a bit of damage. Oh, I'm definitely getting shot. No way. This is actually so fun. I need to get used to, like, the driftiness of space. Because I'm just, like, floating around, really. I think I need more quantum rudders to kind of counteract that. Oh, there you go. We took down a pirate. I'm getting distracted, though. Let's just check out Dune really quick we can just teleport over here right, it seems it seems the rock forces do have propulsion it's just very weak when you're in gravity when you're in atmosphere very cool this was this planet was actually inspired by like coral like coral reefs it's huge okay we're not gonna check out everything oh there's a skeleton over there we're not gonna check out everything because i'm sure you guys want to explore on your own i just want to have a quick look at everything because we have this new map the space sector yeah, we're inside this astro- Whoa, the gravity is so low! Look at that! We also have these weird pyramids. I don't know what they do, and I don't want to interact with them yet. Um, because... You know what? Actually, can we? Oh, they're chests! They're chests! I was thinking they were story-based or something. And then, Nasu, which is the enemy domain. Design of the quantum rudders, you see that? Like, spinning around like a star? Really cool. Uh-oh, I've been spotted. Okay, I can do this all day, right? I feel like I could just play around on this new early access space bound all day. Yeah. Come and get it, pirates. Come and get it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! No! Can I still fly? Okay, I can still fly. I have damage. That's how effective even one quant quantum rudder is. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, we need to do this at some point. We need to take on the pirate base for a video, a separate video. I think that's pretty much everything though, guys, for early access. I don't really know what else I can show. I think I showed off everything. So there you have it. Early access to 1.7. Uh, I just give this whole entire update and DLC a 10 out of 10. It's pretty much really refreshing content for everything. Like there's so much to do now. There's so many videos I can make personally with the boys. 
But for the community as a whole, this is a massive win. I think this is just going to make PvP even more interesting. It's going to make builds even more interesting. And then obviously PvE as well. We also have like pirates here on the map. So like however you want to play the game really. And whatever suits your needs, Trailmakers has. That's really good. Good job devs. I'm so happy with this update. This is pretty much everything we've been wanting after Airborne. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. What do you think about this update? Seeing this review, seeing all the new blocks really in action what do you guys think do you like it because i know i do well there you have it guys thank you so much for watching this video it's been really nice checking out all this new stuff and if you enjoyed it why not consider subscribing it's free but anyway that's enough from me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye